to me, Roger, the boring dispatcher, was like a lighthouse keeper. I think in his life he felt like he was pushed to the edge of society. Like people didn't want him too close. But we all want to be with it. Part of it. I think YouTube was... a chance for him to... kind of study that boundary between society and the wilderness. Kind of explore that, that region between that which we expect and that which we cannot bring ourselves to accept. Initially, I wrote Roger off as a hater. Watched a couple of his videos. Th thought him crude. A little bit rude. And at first, I thought he was just generating negativity. Throwing out hate to make himself feel better. But I saw a few more of his videos, and they made me think there was more complexity than I had first thought. And so I kept kept watching. And for a while, he was subscribed to me, and I was actually catching up his on his videos by going through my subscribers list. A few days I have, after I posted my Speaking in Tongues video, he unsubscribed to me, which I only noticed because I was watching his videos <laughs> through that connection. So as soon as he unsubscribed to me, I subscribed to him so that I could keep keep watching. Because what I was seeing was that it wasn't just hate. I noticed that he would find people inside the town who he felt had value and would shine his light down at them and bring them to the attention of other people. He would see people down in society, you know, someone up on a soapbox speaking to the crowd full of themselves but he'd see that they actually were you know more separated from reality than he was just you know some delusions about themselves <laughs> what they mean to people whatever He'd shine a spotlight in for that reason and make fun of them, rip them apart, try and put them back into their place. Not a tactic I agree with, but... What really changed my mind about him There are a lot of people on YouTube like me that are willing to explore the wilderness rather than focusing on what will get me more subscribers you know how how can i entertain people i don't just launch a raft and set out into the sea
Roger shone his light on Ian Crossland, who'd traveled out into waters too, too dark, too rough. The dispatcher raised an eyebrow. Always said so much. That's not normal. That's not normal, is it? What is that guy thinking? But whereas most people would shine their light and laugh and turn it away, or just spew hate, Roger invited him over. Posted a few videos, bits of their conversations that they had. And it showed me that Roger was actually pretty open-minded. And over time, through some of his other actions, I came to realize that he wasn't focused on getting subscribers either or directly influencing people's opinions. That eyebrow was a question. A question we were meant to ask ourselves and put thought into. Roger wasn't trying to give us answers. He wasn't trying to tell us where society ends and the wilderness begins. But he was curious about the people within and without, where they drew the line, how they enforced the border. I don't know. Some random thoughts. I may have more tomorrow. Have fun in your next life, Roger. Keep up the good work.